So you're thinking about possibly making the move to Rochester Hills, Michigan, or just seeing what the city offers. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you three different homes and three different price ranges to give you an idea of how far you can stretch your dollar in a city like Rochester Hills. Let's get to it. What's going on everyone? Andrew McManaman here with Living in Michigan. And like I said, I'm going to break down Rochester Hills just a little bit. Make sure you stay until the end of the video so you can see the bonus house I'll show you. If you're not familiar with Rochester Hills, it's located east of Auburn Hills and west of Shelby Township, which is roughly a 30 to 35 minute commute to downtown Detroit. 35 to 40 minutes to the city of Novi, and a five to seven minute drive south straight down Livernois Road to get to Troy. Rochester Hills, Michigan is just under 33 square miles with a population of just under 80,000 people. And not to be confused with the city of Rochester, which is 3.83 square miles with a population of around 13,000 people. I'll throw up an aerial visual just to show that Rochester Hills arms are wrapped around the little place we call Rochester. Michigan.org said it best about Rochester Hills, stating it provides many recreational facilities such as swimming, golf, tennis, and cycling at municipal parks. Attractions include Meadowbrook Hall, Yates Cider Mill, and historical Stony Creek Village. I can most certainly attest to the city's wonderful offerings as a short time ago I spent a lot of time at my girlfriend's apartment that is on the border of Auburn Hills and Rochester Hills, so I got a good sense of the community for a few years. Starting this list off with the cheapest single family home you can get in Rochester Hills area today, located on Avalon Road which is a direct vein to Auburn Road that offers a nice strip of entertainment and attractions along with Avondale Park. Pine Trace Golf Course a couple minutes down the road. On top of that, it's just a few short minutes from I-75 and the M59 corridor, which is always a plus. Taking a look at this three bedroom, one bathroom bungalow, just over 1,000 square feet with a two car garage on just shy of 0.3 acres. Being built in 1945, it's no secret this home needs a little love, but that doesn't mean the potential isn't there. It has some old hardwood floors that could be refinished, archways as you pass through each room, which is something you don't see in a lot of many of the new homes out there today. It has a nice private backyard, and just taking a look at some more of the images, the home actually feels pretty sizable for only being around 1,000 square feet. That enclosed front porch is a nice touch as well because it has large windows and gives you the ability to sit out there even on the coldest days in Michigan if you wanted to. This home is listed for $182,500, which is just over $176 a square foot. Keep in mind the average sale price of a home as of recording this video is over $397,000, which is a 13.9% increase year over year. So being less than half the average sale price is not like this home is uninhabitable or a teardown. So it just needs someone to come in and spruce it up a little bit is all. Hopping on over to the home in the middle range, located off of Edinburgh Drive, which is part of the desirable Hawthorne Hills subdivision, conveniently placed centrally east of Squirrel Road and west of Adams Road. These two roads that are also main roads in the area that get you from point A to point B, give you that wonderful commute to wherever you're going without feeling like you're on a main road based on its central location. This home is only six minutes away from Oakland University, which is surrounded by more entertainment and attractions than you'd even know what to do with. And before you start thinking, great, it's in a college town, count me out. I think you need to give Oakland University some credit here. They don't just have their campus buildings scattered all throughout the city. They have done a great job keeping everything fairly close together. It's not like some of the bigger universities like the University of Michigan and Michigan State where you're dodging students on the road all the time. Their sidewalks placed accordingly and traffic moves in out of the campus fairly well. This Colonial off Edinburgh Drive is five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, a three car garage with over 5,300 finished square feet, situated on just under 0.3 acres. Built in 1991, but remodeled in 2012, this home has a lot of great details and important updates such as furnace, AC, and some of the windows as well. Listed at 555,000, which is just over $149 a square foot, this home has a lot of potential and a few entertainment opportunities on the back porch and the finished basement. The home could of course use a few more updates, just like any other home in the world, but 
We will see how quickly the home sells. It's just been on the market for a day or so, and there's an open house coming up as well. Now to the home at the top of the price range here in Rochester Hills. This mansion is located east of Brewster Road, right off of Livernor Road. This home is just a few short miles from the last one that was mentioned on this list, so you can bet they take advantage of the nearby amenities as well. This 8,186 square foot ranch has four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms with a six plus car garage situated on just over five acres. This isn't even a home. This place is a getaway retreat located primarily in Rochester Hills. This 2004 palatial estate comes fully furnished with more features and details than I have enough breath for. You can almost guarantee that the pictures of this home hardly do it justice. The only downside of this home is it's on a gravel road, but for only an eighth of a mile. Listed at $2.5 million, which is over $490 a square foot, this one-of-a-kind home is nothing short of extraordinary. The curb appeal is out of this world. Just on the architecture alone, it doesn't matter if every plant was dead, I bet you wouldn't even notice. That sums up the three homes in three different price ranges, but before you go, I know what you're thinking. Why wouldn't I show you a home that falls within the average sale price in Rochester Hills to give you a feel of what average looks like? And you're right, I'm sorry, I'll do just that right now. Like I said, the average sale price is just over 397,000, so the home I'll touch on here is listed at $400,000. Located off of Fairview Lane in the Fairview Farm subdivision, this community is located right behind the last home I talked about. So again, the amenities are plentiful in the area. The Colonial is four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, over 2,000 square feet with a two car garage settled on just over 0.35 acres. Built in 1978, but clearly updated a few short years ago, this home is nothing less than move-in ready with a great open floor plan, new floors, custom shelving, a private ensuite, and a great exterior patio. I'd say this would check a lot of people's boxes. What do you think? Drop your thoughts about the homes I mentioned in the comments below. That actually sums up the list of the homes in Rochester Hills, Michigan, that will give you an idea of how far your dollar will go. If you have any questions about anything I covered or didn't, please don't hesitate to reach out and I would be happy to share some of my knowledge about the area. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this video or the many before gave you some value, please give it a big old thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and tap the bell so you never miss out on an upload. I'll see you in the next one.